Hello everyone. Welcome back to my new episode on Excel Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to create a circular or in progress chart in Excel, and this chart will help us to develop an attractive infographic dashboard in Excel. If you like our tutorials do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to stay up to date with my new tutorials. As we can see here, the circular progress chart is updating automatically upon changing of task completion percentage, also both the percentage value displayed inside, and the title are changing accordingly. Nice. Let us see how to create this chart in step by step. Basically, it can be done by using a donut pie chart. The donut chart is a built-in chart type in Excel. Donut charts are meant to express a proportion of whole relationship, where all pieces together represent 100%. The Excel will calculate the percentage automatically based on the categories. As said earlier, the donut chart should be used when the categories sum is equal to 100%. In this table the task completion percentage showing less than 100%, the remaining percentage will be the task in completion percentage. Hence, I will calculate the percentage that remains to complete each phase of the project, so, I will deduct the percentage completed from 100%. Hence, equal, 1 minus percentage completed. Ok. Now we met the condition to create the donut chart. But I will use this percentage in the following step. Now I want to create the primary donut chart for my chart base. For this, go to insert tab, and click the pie chart option and choose the donut pie chart. First, I am going to add the number of segments manually. As said, the total segments together will represent 100%, so I will set the number of segments to 25 pieces. Hence each segment will be represented 4%. To do this, right click on the graph, and click select data. The select data window appears, then click add, from the edit series window, add number 1 25 times with comma in between. Now you can see here, 25 segments are created. Next, I will change the format of this chart. Delete the legendary series, and the title of the chart. Next, open the format data series. From the format data series pane appears, adjust the donut explosion, and whole size values to around 5% and 70% respectively. Next, I will set a single color for each segment. Now we have completed our primary pie chart. Next I will make three more copies of this primary chart to represent the progress chart for the remaining scopes as well. Cool. Next, I will add our task completion percentage to this chart. To do this, right click on the chart and select data, then click the add button again, and select the cell ranges for both completion and remaining task percentage. As you can see here the chart is in stacked format, but we need the overlap chart. For this right click and select change chart series type, then select the secondary axis option for our project scopes and hit OK. Now our primary and secondary charts are overlapped. But I want my base chart to be visible upon changing task completion percentage. So, I will change the secondary chart format. Right click and open format data series. Next, choose only the blue segment, and go to fill option and click no fill. Next, select the next portion and set the color like our background color, and set the transparency value until you feel attractive.
If I change the percentage of completion value in the fourth multiple, the segments are filled perfectly. It means each segment representing 4% respectively. Based on your requirement, you can adjust the number of segments by changing the series value from the Select Data options. Next, I will add the dynamic data labels for this chart. To do this, go to Insert tab, and click the Text option, then select the text box. Draw a text box in the middle of the chart. But, add the text in the formula bar by addressing the percentage of completion. By using the same method, you can add the chart title as well. OK. Now we have completed the first project scope. You may follow the same method to complete the remaining scopes of the projects. You can download the free template from linked in the description, so that you can try as well. Cool. We have done it for today. I hope you have learned and enjoyed watching this tutorial. See you next week. Thank you for watching, please like, comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel for all the latest updates. Have a nice day.